Hey guys, HDV here, and welcome back to another video going over the brand new Switch games. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. Today's video oh, is an exciting one. As we all know, Mega Evolution has been speculated to be coming back to the new Switch games this year. Well, today, the good old folks at Core Core have been like, hey, let's just drop a big old leak bomb and confirm it. Mega Evolution is confirmed to be coming back to Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And that's what we're going to be going over in today's video. We're going to be taking a look at Korra Korra and kind of just looking through it all and see what we can find. Of course, if you guys are excited for this video, please do drop a like down below. Read us about the video, the channel, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's get into the video. And I really hope that you guys enjoy. So, of course, Korra Korra has been leaked. This is on Cerebi. Of course, will be linked in the description down below. If you don't know what Cerebi is, if you don't, then I don't know where you've been living under a rock, but something. But Cerebi has basically uh, shown the Korra Korra leaks and it's just looking absolutely beautiful. So the first images from Korra Korra have leaked and have revealed the latest news. As always, do know that translations are primarily uh, preliminary while we are working on them. In this, it confirms that Mega Evolutions return in the game once again activating when you have the keystone and the pokemon's association with the mega stone the magazine also showcases vermilion city gym and showcases that lieutenant surge once again has a raichu will bring more as it comes which kind of makes sense because obviously lieutenant surge has a raichu in yellow it's kind of a retelling of yellow we're not even excited about that i mean that's cool and stuff but of course what we're excited about ladies and gentlemen is this bad boy right here mega evolution is back in let's go pikachu and let's go eevee and also i think this is the first kind of um kind of like background view of what the online is going to be like as well because obviously we haven't actually seen any online battle footage yet i don't believe but this is kind of be what it's looked like so we got charizard x here we have mega venusaur here we obviously have charizard y here and then we have charizard x here again and then at the bottom we got mega blastoise so it's absolutely exciting honestly i know mega evolution has been in every single game since x and y but the fact that it's in Let's Go, and obviously we had all the whole information about the trademarks and stuff like that, which we will get onto later on in this video as well, it's just very exciting because it means that, yes, Mega Evolution is back in the new games, but it also creates the idea that maybe we are getting some brand new Mega Evolutions as well. Now, these Mega Evolutions being in the game doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be new Mega Evolutions. Mega Evolution was in Generation 7, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. We didn't get no Mega Evolutions. The last one we got was in Auras, uh, with the, obviously the Ruby and Sapphire remake. So just because Mega Evolution is in the game doesn't mean that we're getting new ones. And like I say, all we've been given are the Kanto stars, which makes sense because obviously we only got the kanto pokemon and the alolan pokemon in these games so the mega evolutions that we have to choose from aren't going to be like loads there's not a bunch of mega evolutions from kanto if i'm not mistaken so i, I don't know maybe we are going to get more if they were going to bring mega evolution back into a game and we haven't really got that many to choose from it kind of makes sense for them to make more that's just my kind of two cents on the situation but the main thing about this is the fact that korakura has leaked the mega evolution will be back you still have to get the keystone, you still have to get the mega stones, everything like that, uh, the mega bracelet, all that jazz. So when you get that, who knows? But obviously, Mega Evolution wasn't in red, blue, and yellow. So to incorporate that into the new games, uh, there's going to be differences in story. Obviously, we know the story is a little bit different because of the rival and stuff like that. But now we have Mega Evolution. I, I can see that being like completely different to the story. Something that I do think we're going to do, though, obviously, we don't know when we're going to get the mega bracelet and the keystone and like that. Something I believe that might happen, though, is just like in Pokemon Origins, uh, Mr. Fuji gives uh, Red the Keystone and the Mega Bracelet and stuff to allow him to Mega Revolve his Charizard into Charizard X. So maybe that's similar to the games. Maybe uh, Mr. Fuji gives us the Mega Evolution stuff that we need because, like I say, it happened in Origins. So that's just something to talk about and think about. And it would be kind of cool as well because Origins was a really, really cool uh, small kind of series. So to get that back would be honestly really, really cool. And to give Mr. Fuji giving it as, would be cool as well. But like I said, we, we have all the Kanto starters with the Mega Evolutions. It's been confirmed. Absolutely awesome. And then, it, of course, I also went on to say that Lieutenant Surge has also been confirmed to have a right to him like that. We got Brock here with his Onyx. We got Misty here with a Starmie. And we also have the first artwork of Lieutenant Surge as well uh, with the Lieutenant Surge's gym. We can kind of see a small snippet of that. Uh, we still have the trash cans. Obviously makes sense. And obviously has his Raichu as well. Again, makes sense because it was in yellow that he had a Raichu. It's a retelling of yellow. And obviously he had it in the anime and stuff like that. Just makes sense. We also have Team Rocket as well. The fight with them. We have them over here. And then we also have uh, Ekans and Coffin. So that's their Pokemon. Whether they fight with Meowth again in this. I'm pretty sure they fight with Meowth in yellow. But something to note as well is that it's actually a double battle. It wasn't a double battle in 
and obviously red, blue, and yellow because double battles were not invented then. So it's a double battle in this. So Team Rocket is a double battle, which is cool. So whether they do have Meowth, I really don't know. Probably won't if it's a double battle. They probably only have two Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, Lieutenant Surge has been confirmed to be a gym leader. Kind of just points me in the direction that they are going to have all the same gym leaders. I can't see them changing any. Uh, but I obviously, who's the champion going to be? We really don't know about that. Um, would Giovanni be the last gym leader? Who knows? We really don't know. But uh, obviously, the main thing about this is Mega Evolution. The fact that it has been confirmed, it's coming back. And like I say, hopefully, fingers crossed, there are going to be new Mega Evolutions. Because if we take a look at the whole uh, trademark thing, which kind of initiated all this speculation um, from Nintendo News, obviously said Nintendo reportedly filed trademarks of 15 Kanto region Pokemon, speculation of Mega Evolutions in Let's Go Arise. Nintendo has reportedly filed for 15 trademarks of Pokemon which originate from the Kanto region. Those Pokemon are as follows. Golem, Machamp, Raichu, Jinx, Starmie, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan. Hitmontop don't get out because its origination uh, originates from Johto, not Kanto. So I don't know why they put that there. Arbok, Weezing, Persian, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, and Dragonite. The last time something like this happened was when the various Pokemon received Mega Evolutions in Pokemon X and Y. The same thing could be happening with the forthcoming Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee games. Nothing has been confirmed by Nintendo or the Pokemon company, so we shall have to wait and see with this one. But it has basically just been confirmed, not by Nintendo, but it has been confirmed by Cora Cora. So I'm most likely thinking that we're going to be seeing a... Um, uh, trailer soon maybe drop on the on the website and maybe even that could showcase a new mega evolution probably not because if it would it was it would show it in this obviously but obviously i don't know how many canto mega evolutions we have in these games uh i don't think it's as many as we think so i, d I could definitely see us having more um in in let's go Pichu and let's go Eevee. but honestly it's just super exciting to see the the fact that mega evolution has been confirmed super super excited about it and let's just hope we get some new Mega Evolutions, because like I say, some of these definitely deserve one. Dragonite deserves one. The Evolutions could definitely cause some debate, because obviously there's a bunch of Evolutions to only give Mega Evolutions to three of them. would be a little bit risky. But of course, if Raichu was going to get one, then obviously these guys would have to get one, because then people would just buy Let's Go Pikachu more. You can't really weigh more into one game than the other. You can't have to keep it both equal. Uh, obviously, Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee would be cool to get Mega Evolutions. Arbok, Weezing. I could definitely see that happening because maybe Team Rocket come back and they both Mega Evolve their Ekans and Coughing. That could definitely be a thing. A Persian as well. Maybe you do fight Meowth and obviously, I, don't, I doubt it evolve, but maybe you have to fight Giovanni and he has a Mega Persian. That would be really cool. Yeah, like I say, all of these different Pokemon fit into the story a lot. I never really thought about that, but thinking about it now, just off the top of my head, a lot of these Pokemon do are linked with like uh, big battles in the story. Like I say, all of the Elite Four have some of these Pokemon. Lorelei has a Jinx. Bruno has a Machamp. Does he have a Golem? I'm not sure if he has a Golem. He definitely has a Machamp though. I'm pretty sure he has a Hitmonlee or a Hitmonchamp. One of those two. Agatha has an Arbok and a Weezing. Um, Lance has a Dragonite. And then the champion, I guess, would probably have like a Mega Evolution of their starter Pokemon. So if they go with Pikachu, they'll have a Mega Raichu. And if you're uh, the champion, we start with Eevee, they'll have one of these maybe. Uh, they pour in Jolteon and Fleur in his Mega Evolution. So yeah, I never really thought about that before. But they do actually all fit into the story relatively well, these Mega Evolutions. So, God, imagine Lance with a Mega Dragonite though. That'd be super, super scary to go up against. But it would be really cool to go up against as well. Um, but it definitely just, I don't know, kind of links more towards them actually being real. And like I say... Giovanni could have a Mega Persian as well. Um, maybe Mega Evolution, like I say, with Mr. Fuji. Maybe that's when Mega Evolution kicks in and maybe you can do it after like the 4th or 5th gym or something like that, which was kind of early. But obviously, we had Mega Evolution in X and Y around that time anyway, so it's not that early in all fairness. But it definitely makes uh, sense and it works out. And maybe I'm just going off on a whim here or maybe it's all completely true. Who knows? But at the end of the day, uh, these Mega Evolutions could definitely uh, have a, a definitely have some valid validation behind them. But obviously, guys, the main thing that I want to talk to you guys was, of course, about the fact that Mega Evolution has been confirmed. It's time to get excited. Like I say, whether it means new Mega Evolutions or not, we don't know. It doesn't confirm anything because, like I say, there were no new Mega Evolutions in Alola. And Mega Evolutions obviously were in those games. But, of course, there's not as many Kanto Pokemon to uh, Mega Evolve in the game. So, I think we definitely need some more, 100%. Um, but that's pretty much everything that I did want to talk to you guys about for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, there will be new Mega Evolutions? Or do you think it's just going to be the old ones? Because we do have like Mega Gengar. Uh, we have Mega Alakazam. We have Mega... I don't know. I'm trying to think of Mega Pokemon from the Kanto region. There's a few. We've got Mega Pidgeot as well. Mega Beedrill. There's a few. But there definitely could be more in my, in my uh, honest opinion. Especially when it's only the Kanto Pokemon in these games. But yeah. 
It, what do you guys think? Do you think there are going to be new Mega Evolutions? If there are, what would you like to see in the games? Which Mega Evolutions would you love to see in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? That is, out of, uh, that is me out of time, though, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop a like down below. It really does help out the video, the channel, all that good stuff. Um, and, of course, my second channel, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, channel, school, Patreon, all my social links can be found in the description down below if you do want to check any of those out. Def recommend it, especially if you want to stay up to date with the content. That is everything from me, though, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, guys, peace.